I think the first take home message is that basic science underpins all of the discoveries we're making in cancer medicine. And what is so exciting about this field now is that is the capacity for the human brain to turn that basic science into a tangi into tangible patient patient benefit very quickly. You know, within a matter of you know short number of years, we've gone from understanding this new rearrangement, let's say, in lung cancer, to developing a drug against this rearrangement in lung cancer that is showing such beautiful results today at this meeting. So I think this reinforces the need to have basic science, science institutes like the Francis Crick integrated with the universities and, and, and the delivery of medical care and this cross-disciplinary interaction between patients and scientists and doctors that will enable these drugs to, to, to be offered to patients, I'm hoping, much more rapidly. Um, added to which, this basic science is, is enabling us to understand cancers at a, at a rate that we've never been able to understand them before. And that's having a rapid impact on clinical trials, the design of clinical trials, optimizing clinical trials, these new basket studies where multiple drugs are being offered to patients simultaneously that rapidly accelerates progress in this area. So I think there's a huge amount of hope. Yes, there's a lot of complexity as well, but we shouldn't shy away from the complexity, but we should use that information for patient benefits to, to, to improve outcomes and, and the studies we, we run for patients.